Ashley, turn the TV down. I'm doing a live stream. Okay. Am I live? Is it working? Hi, guys. It's Karen. And welcome to another Facebook live stream. Yes. I used to be an opera singer as a teenager. And as you can tell, I still have my skills. <laughs> Hi, Bill. How are you? How's the trip to Mexico? I hope you're having some jalapenos and some guacamole in my honor. Muchas gracias, Bill. Hope you have an amazing time. But on a more serious note, you guys won't believe what happened to me at Walmart today. So I was waiting in line for over three minutes. So I started to complain because it was very, very slow. And you know what this kid behind me told me? Okay, Boomer. The fact that someone would have the audacity to tell me that is absolutely disgusting. And, and come back, you should not, Carson. Did you just slap my kid? I did. No, did you just slap my kid? Yes. Did you just slap my kid? Slap the shit out of him, I did. Don't you lie to me. Carson, did he slap you? I did. Hi, Carson. Carson says you slapped him. Because and that's not really me. nice, okay? Well, so nice where's your mom? Wasn't. I'd like to have a little chit chat with her. Well, my mom. Where's your mom? At your house, she is. Where is your mom? Up your ass. She's not here. Oh, yeah. Like you live at the park? I do. Under the tree stump. I wouldn't doubt that. Fucking gremlin. Racist. Whatever. Carson, get in the car. We're leaving. Bye, Carson. Carson, get in the car. In the car, you must get Carson. Listen here, you little shit. I don't care. I don't care whether your mom's here or not. Okay, I will get the shit out of you. I understand you're four years old. I don't Maybe fucking mom, care. Like you could be 900. Back I the am. fuck off. Kelsey, come on, we're leaving. Okay, guys, I've been working on saving up for this video game for some time now, and my stepmom, Karen, says I'm not allowed to play it because it's rated M. I mean, like. So she put my name in yellow. And I put her name in green, cause I got them greens in my pocket, call me Green Bean. Roxanne, Roxanne. My name is Karen. Martha Dumbtruck in the flesh. Martha Dumbtruck? Hi, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Backwards, upside down, and... Fuck. Do you have fresh salmon? No, I'm sorry, we don't. I already checked this morning. Can you check again? Yes, yes, of course, yes. are yeah sure they're actually gonna be down aisle eight follow me okay perfect I need a number six for my grandson please okay here you go ma'am this candles purple do you have any other colors actually purple is the only color we have for the six you can choose the individual candles or the sparkler candles if you like I use the purple six for my son's birthday there is no way you have a six-year-old. Aren't you still in high school? And in my house, purple's not for boys. No, I'm not in high school. I'm 26 and purple's for anyone. But like I said, you're welcome to the other candles. Have a nice day. One of you will betray me tonight. Is it me, Jesus? No. Is it me, Jesus? It's not you either. Is it me, Jesus? Is it me, Jesus? My mom reached like pure Karen energy today and honestly, I don't know how I feel about it. And I was like, so, bro, my field trip left without me. I want to go home. You can't go home. How did they leave you? They left earlier than I thought and no one told me. Dude, I want to go home. What time did they leave? Contact dad. If he hasn't yet, maybe he can take you to meet them. They legit left five minutes before I showed up. It doesn't matter, I just wanna go home right now. I'm literally crying. Then I sent an ugly crying photo saying, I'm actually still crying, I don't wanna be around anyone. Please let me go home. And then this, 
Did the teacher post on classroom slash email slash tweet otherwise inform the whole class about the time change? If not, he will be hearing from me, we will be getting our money back, and you will be getting an apology. That's my mom. Okay, guys, I've been working on this outfit for some time now, and my stepmom, Karen, says I'm not allowed to wear it out tonight. I mean, like... Respect the drip, Karen. Hey, pretty lady, how are you today? I want to get a spray tan and I'm a student. Okie dokie, and I see your student ID. So what primer did you want to use? Nice try. I don't, so thanks. The promotion for students is you get a $10 spray with the purchase of a primer. So I cannot give you a $10 spray without you purchasing a primer, unfortunately. Well, I don't want the primer. I just want the $10 spray. Oh, well, in that case, sorry, I still can't do that. It's either the primer and the $10 spray or full price, which is $30. With your discount, it's $15 off, so. Well, I want the dark option as well. Okie dokie, it'll be $23.56. You said it'd be around $15. And then you said you wanted dark. Dark is $5 extra. I want it to be $15. Okay, since you want it, it's $23.56 still. So my mom just texted me and asked, do you know what a Karen is? And I was like, yeah, why? And she sent me this video. Hi there, my name is Karen. I've been divorced three times. I deal with all my issues by drinking lots of red wine. You may think I'm harmless because I'm always so sweet and kind, but I'll flip that switch to psycho if you cut me off in line. Mark, we need this for when Cheryl and John come over for wine night. Would you look at this? Millennials these days can't even take care of freaking plants. Like, it's not that hard. Let's have another. Do you think this will look good in our bathroom? Uh, yeah. No, you idiot. No, it won't. Our bathroom has chartreuse accents. This will look terrible. You know what? I'm gonna buy this for myself. Queen of the kingdom. That is me. This is an early birthday present for myself. You know why? Self-care. $2. If wine came with it, maybe. <laughs> what are you grabbing? Oh, Advil for Braille. Advil? We have lavender essential oil at home. What? <clears throat> hey, how can I help you today, ma'am? Hi, today's my daughter's 11th birthday, and I'm going to need that balloon right there. I believe it's number 251. Let me go grab it for you. Just a moment. Hey, ma'am, so we're actually out of that one. Did you want to choose another one? Oh, I actually can't choose a different one because that's her party theme. So. Okay, I totally understand. We can go ahead and call another location for you if you'd like. One's actually like 10 or 15 minutes up the road. No, I really don't feel like going nowhere else. Um, the party's today, so. Y'all don't have any in the back, or why can't I just get that one? Sorry about that, we actually can't sell the displays because they're already out of our inventory. And they, they have air in them. Not helium. I don't care if there's mashed potatoes in there. I want that one. So get it down for me. Right now. Waiting, 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 waiting. About 15 minutes later, Miss Jen, manager Jen, comes out and says, I am so, so sorry. I honestly thought that we had your candles at our off-site store, but we only have the small four ounces in. And I said very calmly, you're kidding me, right? And she said, no. All right, your total comes to $50. Uh, no. I do not owe you $50. Let's see. Yep, everything looks good. $50 is your total. No, I'm doing an equal exchange. I do not owe you anything. So you are trying to exchange a $10 item for a $60 item. That won't be an equal exchange. You do have to pay the difference. No, you just make it $10 so it's an equal exchange. I don't pay anything. That's not how a equivalent exchange works, ma'am. Because they're two different values, there is a difference in price. If I were to go to any other store, they would do it. So just type it in your computer and make it happen. 
So what I'm not going to do is break the rules for you, okay? I am going to follow policy. You may pay that $50 difference, or if you'd like, you can shop around for something else of equal value. You know what? Get your manager right this moment. I am the manager. Of fucking course you are. I'm not paying it. End of story. Then here's your item. End of story. Hi, what can I get started for you? Oh, I don't need help. I'm just going to leave my phone charging right there and I'm going to go do some shopping. Okay, just got to let you know. Leave it at your own risk. Uh, I'm not going to be responsible if someone takes it or steals it. You won't be... Mm, I'm asking you to watch my phone like it's your child. Ma'am, I am not affiliated with Walmart. I am Subway. So if it gets taken or stolen, not my fault. You could totally charge it while you're eating, but I would not recommend leaving it. Well, if it gets stolen, it's your fault, and I will sue you and call the cops and have you arrested. And if you leave your phone, I will unplug it and take it to customer service as a lost item. So it's totally up to you what you want to do, but I'm not responsible and leave it at your own risk. Have a good day. I need a manager right now, and it is an emergency. Right now. Yes, ma'am, what's the emergency? How can I help you? I'm a manager. There is a man in the women's restroom, and you're going to need to do something about that. Okay, yeah, I saw him go in there. He told me before he went in that the other restroom uh, was full, so he needed to go in that one. You're telling me that there's nothing wrong with that in your head? Hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It does help support us, and let's know what videos you guys want to see.